Okay, folks, it's getting about that time of the evening to call it a day. But someone's out here in my garden. Guess we better go see who it is. Well, it ain't Santa Claus. <laughs> Uh, out here picking tomatoes from the looks of that bowl she's got it's about half full already yeah the bugs are starting to get them so yeah. I need to get them out yep. I'll let these ripen on the counter and then I'll throw them in the freezer and I'll either make spaghetti sauce or salsa with it all right. All right. Well, I'm going to give her a hand here real quick. We'll see you there in a little while. Hello, right, folks. I just thought I'd bring you back here for a minute. There's the bowl of tomatoes from today's picking. And guess what somebody's over here picking? Slide over here. Oh, she got three of them. Yeah. I only seen two. You done found the third one. Sure did. There's a, one more down there, but... It's not it's... quite ready. But... And green beans are starting to grow up nice. Yeah. So yeah. We'll, we'll get one more bunch. I think we're going to put in a bunch of... Uh, maybe bush beans here mm -hmm. in the next few days. Okay, I was going to say, if you was going to say carrot, I was going to say, uh-uh, we got enough carrots. <laughs> <laughs> you want to take these, James? Yep. All right, we'll see you in a bit. Yep. Somebody, look at that. Look way down yonder, look. Big old puff of black smoke. Yeah. Huh? Huh? That's weird, just one big puff of black smoke. Hello, folks. Just thought I'd let you come in and see bed number three. Uh, somebody kind of tore out the cucumbers last night because we're only getting one or two a week now. So, time for them to go. Get everything ready for next year. But anyways, I had a drain up there. And uh, every time it would rain, you know, we had the drain just running in the walk bed. If y'all can see it up here. Watch, it's real soft there. So, I put another drain in. This time it runs through the bed instead of in the bed. And I stopped it right here. Now, this is... All right, I guess. We'll find out what happens when it rains really hard. But if you look down here where my water line comes out, I went right above it. My drain is actually right in there. Put my finger right in there. I didn't get it down far enough, but there's a hole underneath it. So that water should come out of really good. We'll find out if not, then I'll just cut a bigger hole. All right. And we'll also be transplanting oh, yeah. these blueberry bushes in a few days. That bean, it's turning brown now. I think it's about to have it. It's about time to take them beans out. We've got a few to pick. And I'm going to show y'all how to make leather britches. Good morning, y'all. Well, James and I was a little bit busy this morning. We transplanted the aloe vera. So they should be nice and healthy and happy here soon. But here's how tall the flower is getting and something I found out today is that it's very rare for an aloe vera to blossom so I kind of feel special
We've got a butterfly, guys. Nah, just kidding. <laughs> hey, guys. Look what we're doing. We are taking down the green bean cattle panels, getting the green beans off of them. We got one to go. They're just not producing. So we're gonna prepare this bed to raise it up. Even though we can't raise it right now, we've still got this set of green beans growing and they are going to produce. So, we're just going to hold off raising this bed, but we can start by taking the cattle panels off. Isn't that pretty over there? And we've got lots of tomatoes still on the vine that's got to ripen. So, we're going to leave those go. Okay guys, we've got the cattle panel down here and all the green beans off, green bean vines that is, and we chopped and dropped. The next stage is to throw some comp compost in here and then the soil will bring you back. All right, well, we've got this bed filled. Jamie's patting it down a little bit. But we got the blueberries transplanted. And they should do all right in here. A lot of rich soil in there and compost. Okay, guys. We're planting in bush beans now. We're put, putting in three rows. Planting about two and a half, three inches apart. We'll show you when we're done okay y'all james is patting it down a little bit and the bush beans are planted that took 10 minutes <laughs> huh i said that took 10 minutes yeah it didn't take long at all let's just uh, sneak over here and see what she's up to now there she is. And what are you doing? Well, it's that time of year that you need to trim back any dead or dying uh, branches on your tomatoes like that. That's taking energy from your tomatoes. So you just want to clip those off. And it promotes circulation. Uh, air circulation within the plant. And also, the uh, test bed, we're changing it around. You can see all the strawberry plant, all that's mostly strawberries in our buckets and stuff you've seen earlier in the year. We're getting ready to pull all those out clean this bed up and we're actually going to plant the strawberries. We're using the test bed as a strawberry patch for next year. Alright, it'll, it'll be a day or so before you, that's anywhere near completion. But we'll come back to you and give you an update on that or, or, or a finished project. And you got anything to say before I go? No. Not this time. <laughs> okay. We'll see y'all in a bit. Hey, y'all. Doing the trimming, I discovered something. Look what we got up in here. We got a cantaloupe. Yay. I think we just got the one. But, hey, I'm happy with it. 
And so it begins. <laughs> He's got all the strawberries moved out. And what is that? Does anybody know? <laughs> it's huge. Yeah, whatever it was, I pulled it. <laughs> <laughs> mm. We'll see how it goes. Good morning, everyone. Um, just to let you know, this video is being pieced together from videos that's been done over the last few days. So, it may not make too much sense. But I'm going to try to piece it all together. Now, yesterday we showed you that we started taking the strawberries out of the strawberry bed. And, well, not the strawberry bed, the test bed. Um, and this is what the test bed's looking like now. Now, what we're planning on doing now, we're going to finish this up today. And... We are going to divide this bed and make a walkway this way. A three foot or two foot walkway. And strawberries will be planted on this side and this side. But that's what we're going to do. Hello, y'all. Well, the walkway's in. If you can see it. Now, just gotta get the tiller out, grind this up fine, then uh, get some mulch stuff in here so we don't not walk in the mud, and get the strawberries planted. But in case you didn't see, <laughs> I already started. <laughs> I've got one already buried in the ground. It was it too looks... big of a volunteer to. Go away. It looks like it needs some water. Poor yeah. thing. <laughs> yeah. Of course, I've thrown a lot of dirt on it, too. There it is. He'll have to cut out that end. Nope. And we're going to be moving some raspberry bushes, some black raspberries. All right, y'all. That's it for today. Hey, y'all. I wanted to give you a shot of this lupa gourd before I signed off for the night. There's the second one. But look how big this first one's getting. All right, y'all. I'll see you on the next video. Have a blessed day.